I think one of the biggest advancements that we can make in this world is to have the unseen therapist, that term, um, become a household word, something like everybody knows what aspirin is. Okay? And if everybody knows what the unseen therapist is, it becomes a household word. Right along with that comes the whole idea of the unseen therapist being an ultimate mentor, as being okay, I've got a problem in front of me now. It's a relationship problem. It's a business problem. It's a health problem. It's a whatever it is. Let me go within. There's this unseen therapist. Yes, I must ask her first. Uh, because if unseen therapist becomes a household word, along with that becomes the idea of her being the ultimate mentor, the ultimate dispenser of wisdom, if you will. So yes, I've got this problem. So rather than me trying to figure it out myself with my ego and all my other you know, things that my ego wants to do with this problem, like this, to win, for example, rather than to do something where no one loses and everybody wins. Once we recognize the unseen therapist is that ultimate source for that. And we say to ourselves, well, as soon as I have a problem just as I might previously have gone for aspirin, you know, for some pain in my body. Well, if there's some other kind of discomfort in my world, I'm going to go to the unseen therapist, okay? So with that in mind, I mean, that that would shift things so beautifully in this world if unseen therapist became this, this household word. You got a problem? Hmm? Let's ask unseen therapist. And the more we ask, the better we get at it more trust we have in it. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's the launching pad for the unseen therapist and the whole spiritual realm, the whole pot of joy, the whole everything to be our primary way of being rather than a way we go to once in a while. 